Well, hello everybody and welcome into your KLVK Sports Connection. Today, joining us in the studio, very special guest, Lady Raiders head coach, Krista Gurley. Coach, thanks so much for joining thanks us today. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, 24 hours away yep. from WNIT, y'all, hosting UTEP. First time in a decade, y'all have made the postseason. Just kind of walk me through the reaction from you, your staff, and the girls when you guys found out that your season was not ending in Kansas City. Yeah, we, everyone was so relieved, was excited. Um, it's been way too long. Um, just for Lady Raider Nation, it's been way too long. And so, um, you know, going into the conference tournament, we, we still thought we had a chance to play in the NCAA, um, but obviously we had to make some noise in the conference tournament. And, and we were hoping that we had done enough to get in the WNIT, but um, we certainly wanted to play postseason. And, and it's not guaranteed until you hear your name called. So Sunday night, there was a lot of joy. There was a lot of relief. There was a lot of excitement um, for, for our program. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned to me earlier on in the year that you knew that this team had what it takes in order to make the postseason. I just wanted to know what specific moment or maybe it was at practice early in June before Greece where now that you know this team was special? I, I knew this summer, like when we were putting it together, even recruiting wise, I knew that this team was going to be special. We just had lots of pieces. Um, we knew the type of players that we were recruiting, the type of people we were recruiting. We knew that, that they were going to mesh to get together well. But I would say that when we got back from Greece and just saw how well they clicked and how well they got along, we were like, you know, they had a chance to do some things really, really special. And I would even say after the WNIT tournament, the preseason WNIT tournament, when when we got beat early and, and, you know, that was a really difficult loss for us, but when less than 24 hours had to turn around and play a Colorado team who was playing in the NCAA tournament and we beat them in overtime after being so far down, I knew this team had something really special mm -hmm. and they were going to be able to do a lot of things this season. And speaking of how special this team is, it's special for you not only to spend this season with your daughter who was in her last year too. I guess, you know, from when you took over here, she mentioned to me she's seen the good, bad, the ugly. She's been with you through this entire process. What has it been like to share this season with her? Well, I'm just so proud that that she's getting some uh, reward for all of her hard work and not just hers, but her teammates as well. And But, but just what she endured what she had to, um, you know, what she sacrificed by coming here, the things that she did going through that first year and, and just uh, the seeing her growth, you know, her growth and her maturity and, and her leadership has been fantastic. But I'll tell you what I'm most proud of her about is, is just her passion for being a Lady Raider. Um, I, being a former Lady Raider myself, I want all of my players to feel that way. But for her to have that type of passion um, for a program that is so dear to me mm -hmm. um, is just something that I could have never dreamt of. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the how hard she plays, the toughness that she plays with, um, her legacy is going to live on. And I could not be more proud to, to have this moment with her. Mm -hmm. And my final question is, too, when you came here, making the postseason was one of the stepping stones that you wanted for the future of this program. How does playing in the WNIT help springboard you guys to make it to the NCAA? away tournament and to really establish the future of this Lady Raider program. You know, I think whenever you think about that the Lady Raiders haven't been in any type of postseason for 10 years, that tells you how difficult it is because there was a while for Lady Raider Nation that it was a, a, a common occurrence, right? And so for 10 years, there hasn't been any type of postseason play. So it tells you how hard it is. It tells you how much we have put together for this team, how much We've worked um, to try to put the right kids in place, to change our culture, to really um, even just bring the WNIT to Lubbock for our fans, to grow our fan base again. Like all of these things play into us growing our program and continuing to take a step forward. And so if we could just make a really long run here, or just a great strong run in this, in this environment, in this tournament with our fans present, I think it will really propel us um, to continue to recruit great and continue to build our program, the kids that we already have here. And, and you know, the next step is, is, is obviously going to be progressive and, and we're really excited about the direction it's going. Mm -hmm. And that all starts tomorrow. Once again, yes. you guys will take on UTEP, 6 p.m. tip-off at the USA. Coach, thank you so much for your time for coming in today. Thank you. And that is it for sports, guys. More KLBK News at 6 is coming up after the break.